I've always done our examples on an infinite loop, but we don't just loop with the loop keyword. In this lesson, we will create a loop with while. The biggest difference from the loop created with the loop is when we write the loop, we determine which condition the loop will run as long as it satisfies. Now, if the specified condition is not true, the loop is automatically exited. It doesn't need to be specifically specified inside the loop with break as in the infinite loop. Let's illustrate our example by typing. We printed the numbers from 0 to 9. You should be careful while writing the terms here. Now I will add the equal sign to the condition we specified and it will print from 0 to 10. We have always set up our cycle to count forward. Let's design a loop that will decrease from 10 to 0 this time. We run our loop. As you can imagine, if we wanted to include the number 0, we could write the equal sign. I recommend you to try writing this as well as the other examples. We can use the keywords break and continue that we saw in our previous lessons. It can be used both while and for loops. In our next lesson, we will cover the for loop.